Let's take a look at it. Now the main part is the pump right here. This was salvaged from a refrigerator. Any old refrigerator. This one happens to be a newer one. R134A sticker on it. They say the older ones are better. This is a fairly newer one. It's been working really well. So I wouldn't be afraid of that. And let's take a close look at the parts we have over here. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut both the lines off of the pump when you get it. And you want to solder a little vent line right up here. It goes straight above the pump for about 8 inches or so. So we need to do that. And right here is the suction line. And that comes from the pump down here to this piece right here, which is the air manifold. I made this out of a uh, one that I had. Wait a minute, let me get a little closer here so you can see it. Now, if you don't have a way to make one, just Google air manifold. They're pretty cheap. You'll need that. Now, here's the line. It is um, quarter inch. I used quarter inch brass tubing. Comes down to this fitting, which happens to be a Volkswagen fuel injection fitting. So I soldered that to the line, and then I tapped, drilled and tapped the manifold, and used the bolt for it. Now you're going to need a gauge that reads vacuum. Now what I did is I swiped the gauge off of my handheld minivac. You've seen these. The gauge went right there. So I swiped that. Didn't have to buy one there. Now, on the other side of the gauge is this piece right here, which is a quarter inch ball valve. I picked that up at uh, Home Depot, pretty cheap. And okay, there is a fitting right here. I don't know, know the size of it, but there was another fitting that screws into the ball valve. And I believe there is a small nipple right here that I had to buy to, to adapt the ball valve to the air manifold. 